So what's going on guys, I bring another video where I talk about all the interesting things to me in the world of technology. I'm going to be talking about the Ubuntu Edge project. This is on Indiegogo. This phone is really cool. You have a dual boot phone from Ubuntu to Android. It's going to have a 4.5 HD display, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage space, multi-core processor, and you can take this phone to any carrier that you want that has 3G or 4G LTE. Now as far as the project goes, I'm really impressed even more than the phone because the phone itself, the way it looks, yeah it's kind of brickish looking but it's their first design, but the fact that you can dual boot and have Android and Ubuntu on the same phone is just awesome. Open source projects are succeeding and it shows what the capabilities of the phone should be. If you compare the specs of this phone to say any other phone on the market right now, we're getting a lot less than we probably should for the same kind of cost. So check out the link in the description to the Indiegogo project for Ubuntu Edge. I'm saying a thumbs up. The guys at Ubuntu and the Ubuntu Edge team over there, really cool stuff by them because really what's happening is that these dual boot phones is going to allow you to do a lot more than you were doing before. If you're familiar with Ubuntu, which I haven't used myself, I've only checked it out before, but it's the equivalent of what you get with Windows. So imagine having that on your smartphone and being able to do all the tests that you do within a desktop platform. I think it's awesome. Thumbs up to those guys again. I'm saying it's a winner. I don't care what the phone looks. That thing could have looked like a piece of trash, but the capabilities of the phone is really awesome. You guys can tell me what you think. Put a comment down below. And of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys later. And once again, thank you to the people at Ubuntu for showing us what the smartphone should be.